Hey guys, welcome to Scratches Part 4. I'm Jacob CJ's Let's Plays. Um, so I've done quite a bit of backtracking since last time, and I've come across a few items. I didn't think it was really that important to show where I found them, but yeah. Um, I found a newspaper upstairs, found a bar upstairs, found this fucking uh, rag up there. There's a couple things I didn't notice the first time. Anyway, there's not very much I'm supposed to do right now, from what I understand. This game needs, kind of needs a manual, just because from what I'm reading, it seems as though a lot of this shit is very tedious and isn't really, um, isn't very fun. <laughs> uh, apparently it's, it, you know, it's critically acclaimed in certain aspects, uh, or from certain people, but I don't know, I'm getting kind of nervous. Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Everything seems to be fine, except the lights don't work. So you don't have to worry. I forgot to tell you. I had an electrician, one that I trust, to meet you there this morning. You know how a lack of power can be a recurring issue in old places like that. He should be arriving soon. That's good to know. I'll set up my stuff and let you know how everything does later. Perfect. Have fun. And don't forget to stop by the gates to meet that guy. Sure. What in heaven's name was that? Oh, hi, boss. I was just feeling around. Well, don't. I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of studio. And don't call me boss. I'm sorry. It's just that no one was calling, and all of a sudden I got excited. I told you it was going to be that way, girl. But I still need you there. I just hope you're not being bored to death. Oh, don't worry. I'm studying tongues during my spare time. I love that so much. That's great, but don't lower your guard. As soon as I publish my new book, that place is going to get riddled with phone calls and hundreds of fan mail. That's the spirit, boss. I know your new book is going to be a huge success. Of course it will. <clears throat> as soon as I find a proper ending. <clears throat> and stop calling me boss. As you wish, boss. Oh, sorry. Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. Now it says right here that I'm supposed to call her again, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's me, Bobby, dear. I need to ask you a favor. Bring it on. I found a letter here, and I'm curious about it. It's in Italian. Do you think you could translate it for me? My, Mr. Athwaite, are we being naughty? Mrs. Styles. Yes, yes, of course I can. Just send me the letter, and I'll put hands to work as soon as I have it here. Excellent. Hmm, I wonder if the postman will come by. I feel like I'm the last person alive on the whole planet here. But have you told the post office in Rossbury that you're moving to Blackwood Manor? Yes, Jerry did. I just hope they don't forget about me, that's all. In any case, thank you. You're such a dear. That's what I'm here for. Actually, that's what I'm paying you for. Anyway, I'll go and try mailing that letter. I'll be standing by for action. Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. Okay, evidently he needs good luck to be able to mail a letter. Anyway, so where's the Italian letter? Uh, I think this is it. Okay, so... Wait, where the fuck? Okay, there we go. And, uh, couldn't be very sensible to use a to write. Wait, what? Oh, pen. Right. Um. Okay, already has the address. Okay, so. There we go. I think I'm supposed to go to the gate. Uh, come on. The fuck? Is it over here? Oh yeah, that's locked. Currently. Went to the front gate, just as Jerry had instructed, but there was no sign of the electrician. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Mr. Allfate, Mr. Carter sent me here today to fix a power problem in your residence. I was told to meet you at the gate, but I've been waiting a few minutes and still haven't seen any signs of you. I will wait some more and then leave. Please contact Mr. Carter as soon as possible. Oh, right. The letter. Okay. So... Go back to the manor and call Jerry, I guess. Open the fucking door. Alright, where's the... Right here. sense of adventuring back in London, thanks. I have work to do. Then do it! What else could you ask for? Now you have the chance to experience firsthand one of your period pieces. Oh, very funny. Try getting that guy over here as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Make sure you find some candles before it gets too dark. Yes, candles. Bye. Immediately after hanging up with Jerry, I realized that I had already explored enough to determine there couldn't, there wouldn't be any candles inside the house. Okay, so call Jerry back, I suppose. Yes. Jerry, I'm freaking out. I couldn't find a single candle inside this place. You're kidding me. I can't believe it. Did you look well? Yes, every single room, draw, box, candid, nothing. No candles. All right, listen. The town isn't too far away. No more than 20 minutes drive. If you can't find some candles there, I'll eat my hat. You'll eat your whole closet. This is getting on my nerves. Come on, it's just a quick ride. You know how to get there? Yeah, I saw it on my way here. Did you call Mr. Busy Electrician who couldn't hold on for just five more minutes? Yes, he'll be doing me another special favor going there tomorrow afternoon. It's the best he can do. You have to bear in mind it's Sunday. We'll charge extra, of course. I don't care. I have no power. I'll get him myself if he doesn't show up. Calm down. Drive to the town before it gets too dark. You won't be able to find your way back if it does. Yeah, I had to buy some food anyway. There you go. Godspeed. And drive safe. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. No, wait, no, not that room. I want to check what the time is. Uh, it's 5 p.m. Okay. So, yeah, I gotta go out to town, I suppose. Let's go on and do that. Ah, there we go. God damn it. Go to the car. So, keys are in the glove compartment. Uh, where's the ignition? Huh. Uh-oh. The car would not start. It was only then that I realized I had left the lights on. 
You stupid fucker. Okay, so what next? I guess get, click on the cardboard exit. It's getting dark out. Call Jerry. Let me guess. Michael. Jerry, you won't believe this. It's insane. My car is dead. What? Are you sure? Have you checked its pulse? I'm not joking. It's gone. My friend, this completely redefines the term suspension of disbelief you sometimes use for your stories. I know. I'm speechless. I forgot the lights on and the car ran out of batteries. All because of that bloody fog. Jerry, you've got to help me. Get over here. Michael, look at the time. I can't drive to Northumberland right now. But, Jerry, I can't spend the whole night without one single source of light. I barely know this place and I won't be able to find my way. Heck, I don't even know if it's rid of ghosts yet. Are you a sleepwalker, Michael? You lie down on the bed, you sleep. Wake up, and you'll have tons of bright light then. That's not helping, and you're the one who got me into this mess in the first place. Hold on a minute. It's not my fault if the electrician missed you for a few minutes, there aren't any candles in a three-story mansion, and your car's battery was low. Okay, okay, listen. When will you be coming back to Rothbury? I'll be arriving home early tomorrow morning, and I'll come for you shortly after. We'll drive to town. Stock yourself up. And then spend the rest of the day in your garden, drinking some beers while we wait for Mr. Electrician. Sounds like a plan? Yeah, I guess. And I don't think there's any plan B either. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I really took all the precautions to make your stay there as comfortable as possible. But I guess sometimes things are just meant to go wrong. Apparently. All right. I'll be on my way then. Call me back if you need anything. And Michael? Yes? Just don't let this situation get on your nerves. I promise it won't. Goodbye. Hello? Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Do you know anything about the previous inhabitants of this house? Not much. Just there were some strange individuals. There's also the murder. You're kidding me. A murder? An old-fashioned murder. You'd probably love the details, but sadly I don't know very much. It's old history, really. Although it caused quite a stir there in Rothbury. It seems the owner, Jane Blackwood, I think, went mad and killed his wife. I do remember the date, though. May 1963. James. James Blackwood, according to the stuff I've been reading. Uh, so you're already turning the place upside down? I should have thought. There's enough material for a whole series of stories here, you know. After you finish your book, my friend. Yeah, yeah, but it can never hurt poking around a little. Would you just get back to work? Call me if you need anything. All right. Goodbye. Now, hold on a sec. Did I check? I'm not sure if I did. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, I need to go upstairs and check the safe. Uh... Where was it? Um, God damn it. I can't totally remember exactly where the safe is supposed to be. I know it's somewhere up here. I just don't, don't really quite remember where exactly it is. Uh, maybe it's the attic. That would make, you know, logical sense. Um, what the fuck? No, yeah, this isn't, this isn't a safe. This is a chest. It's different. Alright, so I guess it's not in this area. 
Um. You know, what, I'm gonna close out the video here, and uh, I'll try to figure it out myself. And uh, hopefully, I'll come back to you with it. So, if you enjoyed the video in whatever way, feel free to like and subscribe and all that shit. And I will see you guys next time.